What's good, y'all? It's your boy Lucky DaVinci, man. Holding down for IVTV. We're in the building. 103.7 radio station right now, holding down in Orlando. I got my man right here, Mr. Puff. What's hey, good with you, bro? Just chilling, man. Shit, last time I crossed you, man, we was over there with Coco Holman. Yeah, oh, man. the car show, man. Shout out to JT, them that threw that first annual car show out there in Bavard County. Countdown County, what's happening, baby? That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You want the man representative of them damn dogs? Yeah. Know what I'm saying? How Orlando been treating you? Orlando been treating me great, man. Even though like, they got me staying way out in the hell, the clip, man. I gotta drive an hour to come here. But it's all good, though. I love it. I like staying on the outskirts anyway. All in all, it's all worth it, huh? Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, you know what I'm saying? What is it for the artists? I'm gonna speak for the artists right now. You know what I'm saying? Getting these records broke. What's it really gonna take? You know what I'm saying? Getting the record broke. Um, like my partner Ray Lowe told y'all a little earlier, man. It's just good records. Um, you can't even be all right records no more because there's too many records dropping nowadays, you know what I'm saying? So you really got to have good records. And even if you don't have a great record, as long as you got a good record, we we giving the artists a chance, you know what I'm saying? That's what you know, but don't bring that garbage, man, because we're going to slay that bitch so far <laughs> that damn one to see what the streets think about it, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, so exactly. So, so how long you been holding down with the, with the radio station thing and all that? Um, well, we used to be on WJFP like years ago, you know what I'm saying? Before the peanut butter and jelly thing with mm -hmm. the radio and chip, man. Then once that got busy, we had to, you know, get off the radio for a minute. Then we went back on the underground, then we chilled for a little while because the law was changed. You know okay, what I'm exactly, exactly. Uh, we, ain't, we ain't trying to get them fed in the charges like that on the house, you know. But that's real, that's real. It is what it is, but we, we was um, blessed to be a, the exact word to be because uh, X102 and Palm Beach changed their format. Mm -hmm. Then uh, 102 Jams in Orlando changed their format. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? And, and the cover coverage from uh, WJFP was on um, five stations from Palm Beach to Cocoa, which Palm, you know, X102 and 102 Jams covered them areas and they were wide open. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that, that just gave us <clears throat> the the go ahead to be like, man, you know what? They crazy as hell. Let's get back on this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Raylo hit me up on there and like, man, we need to get back on the fucking radio. You know, and, and show them what time it is. You know, we went on with, with the two hours, the show got hot, they gave us another hour. Nah, we you can see we're here in Orlando controlling the whole nighttime, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, got Seven to it. five AM. Y'all got it yeah. too. For real, for yeah. real. Like I was telling Raylo, man, we appreciate y'all because we didn't have nobody. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like fully catering to this type of music. Cause or, uh, one or two jams, you know what I'm saying, it still had its editing and everything that's going yeah. on. This is real raw radio right here. Yeah. Did, uh, we ain't cutting y'all cutting no shorts, no losses on y'all giving them exactly what the production has to offer. You know exactly. what I'm saying? And that's really what we need, you know what I'm saying? Right. You gotta understand too, both of us was artists also. You remember I was signed with Trick Daddy for four years, you, just you know what I'm saying, with Dunk Riders. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Raylo was the artist um, with, with a lot of the fast songs with Chip Man, you know, the peanut butter and jelly, Step on the Gas, a lot of, you know, the booty shaking music. Exactly, you know that loop music, music. You know what I'm saying? The one that made them old bust it wide open. You Facts. Know? But, it was making money, you know, out, out of all the songs that we made, Peanut Butter and Jelly, the only one that really made us some real money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Other than that, you know, it was the dumbest song in the fucking world, but, you know, I it, made, five. it made money. It opened a lot of doors for us. Exactly, you exactly. Know what I'm saying? And then, you know, me, I, I've been behind the scene forever, you know, on a lot of artists, and I, that, that's what I really love to do. That's what's up. Be behind the scenes. You know, so that's that. That's what really gave y'all the edge because y'all have already been on that side of the fence. Yes. So when y'all come onto this side, y'all already know the ins and outs. Exactly. We understand the artists. We understand what artists go through. Mm -hmm. Cause it was hard getting our shit played on the radio. So we we said, fuck it, let's crank up the underground, play our own shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But you know, when them laws change, like I said, you. Play your own shit if you want to. You ain't got the police coming at this. You better ask Ray Lowe, boy. That's <laughs> they kick down those and that motherfucker, boy, like you selling bricks off in that bitch, but They know. make it hard for us, man. They make it real hard. But we making it easy for y'all, so that, that's, the, that's the blessing, you know what I'm saying? Because one thing about it, you know, God put people in different places for different reasons. There's so much talent here in Central Florida, man. And I, I don't understand how... It's overwhelming I, talent. I mean, it's, it's all over the place. Yeah. In Florida, period, man. But I don't understand how... You know, um, they have dictators in New York that tell a bitch what's going on in Florida. Oh, yeah. yeah you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, How you fly sense. a motherfucker from Kentucky to be the program director of some, you know what I'm saying, in Florida? He don't know what the fuck the streets want. 
You know what I'm saying? You need somebody in Florida to do all that. Somebody that's out here, yeah. really out here. Exactly. Yeah, that makes yeah. perfect sense. That's what y'all are. Y'all yes. are really out here. You know what I'm saying? Well, we've been doing it a long time, you know, keeping our face clean, too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Which is a part of the game. You gotta exactly. keep your face clean. Yeah. Some, I, some people face muddy than a motherfucker, though. <laughs> That's real. You ain't gonna call no names. <laughs> but besides all that, though, I know you be on your fitness shit too, like. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You, I left big holes in the air 24 hours. You know, I throw that big ass. <laughs> <laughs> IBTV wasn't ready for that shit. I'm talking about I throw them big holes up, boy. Yeah. <laughs> IBTV, man. <laughs> hey, man, it's real raw right now, man. Yeah. So y'all gotta take it come, man. Yeah, but you, you, you one of them good eating freaks. I mean, you be on your shit, though, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's something that. We as in, you know, black individuals, period, we need to start doing that type of shit. Yeah. Exercising good, eating good. Well, Get into the mind, but I gotta be straight up with y'all don't eat as good as I supposed to. You True, know what I'm right. saying? You, you know. Human? But but the thing is I do make sure I exercise because we ain't getting no younger, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is you ain't gonna die before it's your time. You just wanna live a comfortable life you're here. So, you know, I I go ahead and hit the gym. You know, and do my thing, man. You know, you gotta get back to yourself. Yeah, yeah, you got yeah, to. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's the best way to do it. Exactly. Keep yourself fit. You know what I mean? Exactly. Mentally and physically. So that's that's all part exactly. of the game. You know what I mean? But a lot of people, you like you say, mentally, you you have to be mental, uh, uh, me mentally strong to to start your workout too. Cause a lot of special out kind. You know what I'm exactly. saying? They want to see results tomorrow. Nigga, I just hit that bitch. Boy, I don't see shit. You know what I'm saying? It don't work like that. No. The same thing with records. Respect the process. You know what I'm saying? And you know. I ain't met no nigga yet that, that just dropped his first record and was 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 an all star overnight. Dog, it don't work like that, man. Yeah, man. You know, a baby was it took what nine months for a baby to be born. So you, you don't even give it nine months in the gym, or you don't get your record nine months. You know, you give it a month, you ain't blow all well. Exactly. You know, prime example, what what my neck, my back took about three years to blow. It did. It took three years. years. So and even a lot of people don't know the, the song cut it. Cut it a year and a half before the people took off with it. You know what I'm saying? Give it time, basically. Give it, give it time, man. Can't you rush perfection. Mental, you got to be mentally strong in this game. I most definitely agree with you on that. Exactly. That's the only way to be. Patience is your main best friend in this game. You got to be patient. Exactly. If you're not patient, nothing will actually come to fruition. You know what I'm saying? So That's real. it makes perfect sense. You know what I'm saying? You got to respect the grind. You got to respect the process. None of this shit don't happen overnight. So all that bitching and crying ain't going to get you nowhere. You heard me. You know what I'm saying? Just deal with it, man. If this is what you really want to do, this what you out here for? Just respect it ain't gonna happen overnight, you know what I'm saying? Just, let, me, let me show y'all how I be flipping the thing. So how I be TV, man, how long y'all been doing this thing, bro? Y'all, I ain't Check all this out. I, I, no, I, I got his ass. I've been doing this shit since May, bro. I just started. I'm a rookie. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just enjoying this shit. You know, I'm, I'm living away. Like you know what I'm saying? Been doing it for I know how to talk to people, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I look and act like this, but I know how to handle myself. Let's see handle what you're doing. You're being natural. Yeah, and that's what a lot of Shout the artists are missing. Shout out to my nigga P for that. A lot of the artists are missing. Shout out to my nigga P for that. You know what I'm saying? He told me to be me, so. Yeah, you I gotta mean, be natural, man. I'm loving this shit. So smooth, bro. You know, I love y'all that's watching. Some of y'all just want me to stutter the fuck up with it on that. It don't even matter, man. I got gotcha, you, man. I stutter you know all saying? the time, because I'm a DJ. I can cut it up like that. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. what it is. You, you, know get, you get your shit in real smooth. Yeah, I try to. Mm. Well, besides that, though, what would you what, what would you like to say encouraging anybody that's trying to be in any type of industry when it comes down to entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Besides holding your head up and just sticking to the road, what else would you like to tell them, you know what I'm saying? Well, see, a lot of lot of things that I like to tell, especially the younger artists, y'all gotta just make sure y'all learn the business part about this music, you know what I'm saying? Because when we did the Peanut Butter and Jelly song, I didn't know the business part about it. I thank God for the check that we did get, you know what I'm saying? But it's a lot more a nigga can still be getting, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna be straight up with you, nigga was broken than a motherfucker at that time till that check came, you know what I'm saying? But you know the street mentality in me. I'm looking at bitch. This a flip. Let's make another one. Real you know shit. What I'm saying let's, let's make another one. This a flip. Let go hand that shit off again. But it ain't like that, man. It, I want. I want thinking further down the line. No, like, exactly. like when we sold it, the slip and slide, slip and slide. So that bitch to Disney. Disney still cutting up a motherfucking check. Not saying that we would have got it to Disney, but at least I would have known the business to keep my, get my paperwork straight on. That's you know real. what I'm saying? That's Me and Raylo would have been stupidly eating off that bitch. You know, stupidly retardedly, like Raylo be saying. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. it's it just learning the business, man. And it's something like, like um, I be telling a lot of the younger artists to pay attention to the ISRC codes. 
You know what I'm saying? That's that's a very important code to know. ISRC code. I'm ISRC code. Very important codes to know. You know what I'm saying? They hid it from us for years. The uh, mastering companies and the record companies. You know what I'm saying? They they, they was all working together for years. Mm -hmm. So they was hiding from the major artists. That's why you be like, some of the artists come at me like they owe me all this money. Because they never knew about They're it. They're discovering they what they never knew about. The only thing they was concerned about was their record sales and and uh, their ringtones. The right now. You know so they they're focus on the and right they now. The money they get in their vans mm -hmm. and they show money. But it's a hidden, and Soldier Boy was one of the smart That's how he got on. He knew about them codes. He encoded that thing. So every time he got played on YouTube, Facebook, SoundCloud, any of that, Cut every the time a bitch called his phone and that song playing, Cut he got a check. You see what I'm saying? Because it was encoded correctly. ISRC codes. Learn that, man. And only buy it from usisrc.org because all the other shit, man, people put their own codes on and next thing you know, you think you're getting your money for it, they getting your check. You know what I'm saying? Now respect the OG, man. He, he giving y'all some real jewels right now, man. Some game, man. This is some game that y'all can't get from nowhere. You gonna find this shit in no book. They ain't giving it to you in no book. You already know how this shit go, man. So And it, it can only be done in master. The mastering company embeds it in the CD. See, that's how they was hiding it from you. You, you see what I'm saying? So they, they hid it from you back then because only thing the, the uh, artist do, he go in the studio record, he finish. He ain't going to the mastering company. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the So the label paying the mastering company, and own your own master too, pay for your own shit, man. They hand it to the motherfucking record company, man. Don't, don't even go to their goddamn studio, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if they own your masters, they own you. Remember that. If they own your masters, they own you. That shit belong to you. You created that shit, man. For real, though. So y'all know right now from this man's mouth, man, that, them words on that paper ain't nothing like 5-7% of this whole game. For real, though. You got 95 to 93% of so much more that's tied into this shit. So don't think just because you got some sick ass, sick ass words on a piece of paper, man, mm -hmm. that ain't nothing but a fraction. I mean, the smallest fraction of this whole bigger picture to this music industry. So everything he told you, man, you soak that up, man, for all you young fellas, anybody, point blank, period. And humble yourself. I done been around motherfucking Tupac. A lot of niggas can't say that. We brought Tupac to Palm Beach, the only niggas to bring Tupac to Palm Beach. You know what I'm saying? You don't get too much bigger than that. You know, you got your Jay-Z's and all of that right now. We done brought down there every artist but Jay-Z and Beyonce. But I'm still humble. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know this dude like that, man. And I told him, what, you know, I greet him like he my brother every time I see him. As he should be. You feel me? Stay humble, man. God gonna bless you. True. True story, man. God gonna bless you. Stay humble. Man, I mean... There's been so much knowledge going around right now, oh, yeah. man. This shit is, this, I'm appreciating. Oh, yeah. Just like I was telling Ray Lowe, man, I'm appreciating all this, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm 34 years old, been out here the whole time, but. I'm 134, so we can do it. That's real, but, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about this game, too, because I plan on being an artist. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I never actually jumped out there, though. I've been on the outside looking in for years. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Just fine tuning my music, just fine tuning, you know what I'm saying? Everything that's, you know, staying well around with what's going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm I'm just like them independent artists. That's why I'm asking these questions. Exactly. Like, I need this information. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I'm soaking it up just as well as the viewers are soaking it up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Just just as well as anybody that's in our room with us right now soaking it up. Yeah. So I love it. You know what I mean? I appreciate y'all more than anything that's going yeah. on right now. You know what like, I mean? Like one thing about me, I don't know it all. I don't try to know it all. I still try to learn from it, man. That's why you still learn though. You know what I'm saying? And you know, but the thing is, you you um once you learn the game, do your research. Also, on, on top of what somebody tell you, what you read, don't don't just read one thing, you know, go to another. You know, and then, you know, God gave us common sense. If it make common sense, that's what it's supposed to be. Exactly. Man. If it, it's gonna feel good to you, man. It's, it just feel good. And and a lot of artists, too, go in the studio, they try to make a single. You can't, ain't no way fucking possible to make a single. But you go in there and have fun, you gonna come out with a single. You come out with a single. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. When, you, when, it, when it's too business though, when you're in that booth, you're supposed to have fun. That That's supposed to be the time, man, you calling that bitch act a motherfucking fool. That's how we do on the, on the radio. Exactly, you be yourself, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? Just have fun, man, you know, don't. And once you do that, man, your music will be a whole lot better. Even if you become a beat maker, even if you're a writer behind the scene, just have fun with you know, put yourself in that person's shoes and just get off. Let the passion speak yeah, for itself. Yeah, just have fun with it, man. Exactly, man. 
we're gonna close this off, man. You already know it's a pleasure working with you, bro. Pleasure working you with you too, big bro. Without y'all, we be possible, baby. IBTV, y'all already know how we do it, man. The world famous damn Dolls Night Show, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Orlando, Blazer 103.7, the all new Blazer 103.7, that is. IVTV, baby. Y'all already know it's in your vein, bitch. You heard me? It's in your vein. IVTV. Tim Tam Talks. Tim Tam Talks. <laughs>